you know, Batman had the Joker, right? Superman had Lex Luthor, the Hatfields had the McCoys. When I was an elementary school teacher, I had Deja, right? Now, I never wanted to be an elementary school teacher. I didn't plan well after college, and so I found myself in an opportunity to become a teacher. The salary was okay, and so I jumped on it. But I ended up in a bad neighborhood. It was Southeast Washington, D.C. If you're familiar with it, it's pretty damn rough. A lot of behavioral issues were going on at the school that I, uh, that I, that I taught at. And at the very top of the list there was Deja. I mean, she was the apex predator of behavioral <laughs> issues, right? And, 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 and she was in my class. Now, the, the number one weapon I had as a teacher was the countdown, okay? So I would be like, all right, that's it. 10, nine, eight. Now, I never even got to zero. I don't know what the hell would have happened to zero. Luckily, I never got there. But that was the biggest weapon I had, except Deja, she didn't give a shit. She would even join in like seven, six. And she wasn't the most, uh, let's say, academically strong kid. So sometimes she would even mess up like six, four. Like, like five is not optional, Deja. You, we, we have to have five there. So anyway, I mean, she was really bad. Like I couldn't even get through a lesson without Deja disrupting the class. She was an absolute nightmare. There were days where I would call off of work because I just couldn't deal with Deja that day, right? But there was one day, we were in the cafeteria, and everyone knew the rule, right? The teachers are kind of, you know, monitoring the cafeteria while the children eat, and everyone knew that you do not stand up in the cafeteria. You raise your hand, the teacher will come to you, problem solved. Deja didn't give a shit about this, all right? So I see Deja get up, and she's walking toward me, and I'm like, Deja, go back and sit down, which was the same as me saying, Deja, woo-ba-la-ba-loo, doop -ba -doop -ba -doo. Same, same result, same result. So she walks up to me and I see she's holding a peach in her hand. I mean, juices flowing down her forearm, the whole thing. And she walks up to me and she says, Mr. Lundy, is this an apple? And I'm like, no, no, Deja, that's, that's a pear, uh, a peach. And she goes, oh, cause this is too good to be an apple. And she turns around and goes back to her seat, right? I mean, it was hilarious, but I'm thinking to myself, this little girl doesn't even know the difference between an apple and a peach. She's just a little girl. I, she shouldn't be my rival. Like, I shouldn't <laughs> lose sleep over her and all this stuff. Instead, I should strategize. I should outthink her, right? And I remember a technique that I was taught where you can take a, a, a child with behavioral issues and give them a leadership position, and it sometimes works. I know it's counterintuitive, but I'm telling you, it actually works sometimes. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make Deja the line leader. Now, I don't know if y'all remember what it means to be the line leader. It's basically Nobel Peace Prize, line leader, purple heart, in that order, right? So I'm like, Deja, you're gonna be the line leader today. And what she says blew my mind. She says, no, Mr. Lundy, you know what? I was bad in art class this morning. I, I shouldn't be the line leader the integrity <laughs> Deja, right? But then she even goes further and says, Ernest should be the line leader. He was really quiet in art class this morning. I was shocked. Now, Ernest was bad as shit too. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? Why not give it a try? And so I go to Ernest. I'm like, hey, Ernest, you are gonna be the line leader today. I heard some good things about you. You're gonna be the line leader. Ernest almost fell out. He had never heard anything like this before, right? He sprints to the door, stands up straight, shoulders back, chest out, chin up. I mean, this guy's silent. He is pr proud. He's ready to go. I'm like, oh, wow, I think I might have, you know, I'm, I might be on to something here. Everyone gets in line behind him. We're ready to walk down to the cafeteria for lunch. And we start going, and I mean, this is a single file. You need to picture like ducklings walking behind the mama duck down the road. This is what it looked like. It was perfect. And for any of the educators out there, you know that a nice line in the hallway, it's like a status symbol. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I'm walking by and I mean, other teachers are looking at me like I'm like, I got a Ferrari coming by. They're like, damn, look at that paint job. You know what I'm saying? And I'm walking down, I'm just proud and the class is going well. And so this became a thing. Like Deja was secretly the line leader chooser 
for the entire year, right? And we got good at it. Like at first, you know, I'd be like, hey, Daisy, what do you think about, you know, maybe Lil Raven today? She'd be like, nah, I don't know about that. Maybe you should try Sasha though. She was okay. We had a whole thing going, right? And sometimes she would get a little frustrated with me, right? Like I'd be like, what about Horace? She'd be like, Horace who, Washington? Oh my, are you even thinking, Mr. Lady? <laughs> like I I'm telling you, she really took to this little role of hers, right? Um, we even got nonverbal like baseball pitchers. I mean, we got it to the point where I'd be like, this one, she be like, mm. <laughs> this one, this one. <laughs> right? I mean, we were we were hitting on all cylinders, and it was going really, really well. So, the last day of school, I say, you know what? I'm gonna make Deja the line leader because she never chose herself. She never said me. Always was someone else. I said it's gonna be you today. Deja, right? I was like, I don't want to hear anything. You are our line leader. You deserved it. And she did. Her behavior went up so, so well. I wish I could say that academically she improved. You know, we all have our challenges. But behaviorally, I mean, leaps and bounds. And so we all line up behind Deja. I'm excited, right? This is finally her chance. And we go out into the hallway, and she was a mess. <laughs> I mean, it was the worst. The lines all going like this. She's talking. She's dancing. Every class that she passes, she's telling them, I'm the line leader today, and you're not, and you're not. She's going off. She's yelling to other teachers, Mr. Jones, am I going to be in your class next year? Oh, okay, because I was just checking. Deja was off the chain. It was the worst commute I have ever seen. It was like fucking 76 in the morning, I swear to God, right? And so... I'm sitting here and I'm watching her, but I gotta tell you, as much of a mess it was, I was so proud of my little Miss Bossy pants. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.